I say old world. Yep. New, new world, world. New world. Old world. New world. Yeah, I went. I why? Went pretty why? Why? <laughs> 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 yeah, welcome to your uh, intro, baby. Yeah. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to another week of Blind Wine Reviews. Thank you so much for all the awesome feedback that we received from last week's video. If you haven't seen it, it is linked below in the description. Uh, we have decided to change things up a little bit from last week, courtesy purely from your feedback. Just to make things flow a little bit better for us and for you guys. But uh, mate, without much ado, we're going to get straight into it. Uh, whatever you're in here. Cool. Awesome. All right. Uh, all right. So we're back. Um, got fucking stitched up in the edit last week. Not happy with you, but that's all right. This is white. It's kind of got a density, like a weight to it. Could be. It's a little bit warm. Oh, it's oaky. Nothing too crazy. Maybe, maybe not actually, maybe I jumped the gun too quickly. Number one. Ooh, she's sweet. She's sweet wine. Uh, a little bit volatile, I reckon. There's a bit of um, volatile acidity on coming off the top, so it's got that kind of nail polish removery smell. I'm gonna guess that this is a $35 a bottle uh, wine, so I'm gonna chuck 35. Uh, if I bought this at 20 for $25, um, and took it to a dinner party with a couple of mates. I'd be pretty happy. I'd be buying six bottles of this uh, because firstly, this is one of those cannon fodder wines. So you're inviting people around your place. You you know want to be able to, to share a quick glass before a meal or something like that. Um, and I would I would pick up six bottles if it were 30 bucks a bottle. So what, Lockie, what does it set me back? 60 bucks. 60. Yeah, look. Um, this is sixty dollars. Far out. I, I would be. I'm going to tailor my my estimation there. I'm going to bring that back to to three bottles. I reckon. Sweet wine number two. Um, another white. Um, I'm getting better at the tastings. Um, just some more of this nonsense. Some more swilling, as I think the uh, industry calls it. A bit darker in colour. Maybe a bit of skin contact, maybe a bit of bottle age, maybe a bit of time in oak. Smells incredible. Yeah, that's that's really good. I, I'm really into this. Um, again, nothing too outrageously serious. Um, so it's seen a little bit of uh, bottle maturation. It has a real old world feel here. Um, I'm gonna guess this is a $70 bottle. And with that in mind, I would like six bottles in my fridge at home right now. Um, Man, I'd, I'd, I'd buy three bottles of that if it was around $35. What's the price? 50 bucks. What am I? What am I being set back? 30 bucks. That's a $30 bottle of wine. Hell yeah, man. Make it a dozen. 30 bucks? Steal. Absolutely. $30, that's, that's, that is a good value of wine. No shit. Yeah, right, okay. Well, uh, in that case, I'm gonna keep it at 60, six bottles, I reckon, um, and uh, be very happy with the savings that I've just gotten. Right. Number three. Again, another white, slightly uh, lighter in color. And that is so slaty and mineral, it can't be anything other than reasoning for me. I know I made this claim last time we did this and ended up being bloody suave, but it's just so slaty. It feels like Polish Hill River. Now, if that's not Riesling, that's Chenin Blanc because that has acid for days. That's fantastic. Not as sweet as the other ones. You're getting a little bit of that acidity that's quite common with uh, white wines. I um, I hope this is between 25 and 30 bucks because I'd buy a case of this and just kind of have this around at all times. I'm gonna chuck a 40, 40 bucks. 40 bucks is what I reckon this one is worth. And again, six bottles, I'm gonna say $25 and I'm gonna have a glass of it with dinner. Honestly, that's, take it or leave it. It's not a bad wine by any means. It's just not my particular, uh, it's not my bag. Bang on, bang on 40 bucks. I'm stoked to be able to see what this is. 40 bucks! 
Damn. 40 bucks. All right, what do we got here? Another richer white variety. Maybe some skin contacts. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? This, this is a wine with a bit of age on it. This is cool. Straight, oh man. We haven't had a wine like this for a little while. I've never had a white wine like this before. Like I've had a bunch of, I've been on wine tours, like dad's a big wine snob, so like growing up I've had a fair bit with like, you know, it's, it's nice. Um, yeah, this has got those like Fino-esque, nutty, almondy, like savory qualities to it. Absolutely delicious. Whoa. Yes. Ah, uh, fuck, I don't know. I'd pay heaps for that. Um, I love this. Uh, yeah, I'd grab, I'd grab a case or two. I'd be happy to pay 50 to $60 for this. I wouldn't buy too many of this. Again, I'm back in six bottle territory. These things aren't making me sort of like jump, you know, head over heels to go out and grab them. I think this one's gonna set me back a pretty penny. I'm gonna guess that's a $70 bottle of white wine. Uh, and it's 70 bucks. I would love to have a dozen of it, but I can't afford that. So like dozen, but realistically like nice date, like nice date, nice dinner sort of thing. Buy a bottle of that, so. Yeah, if regardless of the price, I would I would grab a case of this. 70 Look at him go! Those is wise! Bang on! That's fucking excellent. 70. See? That's what uh, that's what being a you know professional winemaker gets you, right? 70, I'd absolutely be happy to pay that. Like 70 bucks for this. Alright. Last wine. The only red wine in this week's lineup, which is kind of cool. Not a white, this is a red, and this smells like cherries. Pinot, fucking Pinot Noir. <laughs> it's, that's the thing about, I made a little mess, I got too excited. This feels like a, a brilliant uh, Tasmanian Pinot Noir. This I would part with a significant amount of coin. Uh, at least, at the very least, 80 bucks. $40 a bottle for that one, and at $40 a bottle. Yeah, this is another one that I'd really like to have six bottles sitting at home. Yeah, it's in that $30 to $40 bracket, but the tannins are nice. Oh, it could be more. The more and more I taste this, it's, it's starting to develop a little bit more. Uh, I'd be happy to pay $45 for that. Um, and I'd probably grab $3. Really delicious. Um, this is a stockingly good example of Pinot Noir. I'm getting even more into this wine the more that I smell it. It's opening up in the glass. It's, I could delete an entire bottle of this pretty quickly. 30 bucks? I'm taking a case. That's, that's really good value. Shit. Really? Really? 30 bucks. Mate, I'll still keep the six bottles. I'm not gonna get any more, but now I have changed. I can get pizzas while we're playing board games as well. So that's fucking excellent. So that's actually 30. 30 bucks guys, 30 bucks. This uh, this is wine to line up easily for me today. Uh, and I thought this was 90 bucks wholeheartedly. And I'm not sure what the maximum score that I could give. I believe it's an entire case. Uh, but if I could buy more, I absolutely would. This is a stonkingly good example of uh, this grape variety. I'm assuming it's Pinot Noir now. Now you've really thrown me. Um, but mate, that is that is fantastic. All right, so we uh, we let's um, before we get started, we have wines uh, one, two, three, four, and five. In first place, we have uh, a pretty clear winner here, uh, at least across these that we tasted today. Uh, we have this wine, uh, wine number four, was our clear winner. Twenty-seven bottles. That's a pretty high score. Uh, I'd say that was unexpected, unexpected given the uh, the style of wines, a little bit niche. Um, we have a tie. Wines number two and five really stood out to us, both two dozen. Uh, and then we jump to wine uh, number three. We have about a dozen and a glass. It's really important to remember that. <laughs> uh, and we have wine number one, five bottles, one glass. Um, didn't really shine amongst this anyway. It was the first wine cab off the rank, uh, so it could it yeah. could suffer a little bit from that, you know, jittery nerves and all. But um, I think let's start with wine number one. What do we got? Wine that we didn't love the most in this lineup, but it wasn't too bad. Five bottles, one glass. Uh, what have we got, Lockie? What do we think it was? Ah! Oh, hello, little Alsatian Pinot yeah. Gris. It's cool, it's fun. Marcel Dice, um, you know, really well, uh, 
respected um, producer out of uh, Alsace, so um, inc absolutely incredible wine. Um, all right, moving on to uh, the next one in the lineup was wine number three. What do we got? We got, we got Domaine Trappé, so it's not Adelaide Hills. So I'm really sorry. It is Alsace Riesling. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not bad though. You, you call it Riesling. Riesling. I did Polish say Riesling. River, which is a bit of a call, you know. It's yeah. totally worth it. I got variety. I got um, fucking everything else wrong. On to the ties. Should we should we do them one by one? Let's have a look at uh, wine number two. Uh, number two. two that we tasted. Number two. Wine number two. Oh boy. Hello, Viognier. There we go, with a little bit of fluff. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, that's really cool. That's a, that, that's pretty wild. That's really cool. That's Wine no, numero cinque. Um, number five. <laughs> Alright, man of the world. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, this oh, is this Coon is Laura! Awesome. <laughs> and it's not even, it's not even, uh, it's Pinot, it's not even Pinot Noir. That's fantastic. Is that Pinot Grigio? It's, no, it's a no. blend of Pinot Gris, Graciano, and Sangiovese. And this is cheap, man. I had this on the weekend. The wine that literally took it away for us uh, mm. was wine number four. 27 bottles. That's... that's 200 bit cases. 200 bit well. cases. We're, we're keen on this wine. Yeah. Uh, all right, what do we got, Lucky? What is it? Oh, oh you are oh, absolutely oh, right, no. old Shannon. Oh, I thought it was Shannon. Yeah, right. Uh, Shannon with a bit of age to it. Definitely not Vouvray, though, but um, uh, yeah, Shannon Blanc. Margaret um, River. Las Vino, Margaret River. Fantastic. This is probably the best Shannon Blanc you can get in Australia at the moment. That's bonkers. And it's delicious. That's yeah. bonkers. Um, anyway, we're going to enjoy the rest of these glasses, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this week's worth of blind wine reviews. We'll be back next week with another lineup of five wines. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs>